Rise of the Divine Feminine. I am Athena, Greek goddess of war and wisdom. I am inviting you to join me in learning how to bring the divine feminine energies back to this planet. For so long, woman has been cast aside, delegated roles of disempowerment, owned as property and reviled for her natural abilities. This is changing on earth now but the woman must change as well, and to stand again in her natural intuitive abilities. Only in doing so will she achieve the greatness that is her due. Join me, goddesses and gods, in reinitiating yourselves in the lost practices of olden day. I will teach you, and you will learn in a simple fashion, applying it to your everyday lives and in so doing, revisit the power imbued to one who is a woman. When a prize fighter relies too heavily on one hand, their trainer will restrict that hand in order that they learn to develop use of the lesser used hand. This is what we hope to do here, to help you to learn to stop using your intellect and your eyes, and to begin to use your other senses, particularly your psychic senses or multidimensional senses, in order to navigate life. Obviously in cases where there is a safety issue, such as driving, do not practice closing your eyes. You have them to navigate the physical world, but you have come to rely upon them too much and in doing so, you've allowed your psychic senses to atrophy. This is our attempt to teach you to bring them back to full use. Lesson 2, Feeling the Energy Field Becoming an intuitive is not just about seeing, as a matter of fact it is about all your senses coming to play in discerning life. The energy field can be felt. Think of all the times that you were close to someone, perhaps a loved one, and you got the sense of who they are and what they were feeling as they got close to you. Compare that to a time that this same person was nowhere near you. At these times you had very little sense of them, didn't you? Think of a time when you knew someone was standing behind you but of course since you don't have eyes in the back of your head, how would you know that? It's because you felt their energy field with your energy field. Your energy field alerted you to their presence. Task for week 2 go back and think about times you can recall like this. Practice sensing others when they are close by and when they are absent. How do they feel? Yes, intellectually you know that people are absent when they are not near you, but these words are also created to describe the sense of their absence as well. Athena